In early years in my life, I was heavy into electronics. I stumbled into ham radio. You built all the pieces and soldered the parts together and you had to learn a lot of theory to get a license. So I had my ham radio license in elementary school and I was building these fantastic school projects and I stumbled into computer technology in a journal. There were no books, there were no classes available back then. It was such an accident for a nine-year-old to stumble on a journal and start learning about ones and zeros. And I just told myself at that very young age, this was the most interesting stuff I had ever discovered. It was gonna be my heart's passion for the rest of my life. I would never have a job in it. I didn't think there were jobs in computers back then. Computers were further out than space science. You heard about them less on the news. They were huge, monstrous machines and nobody else around me was doing this stuff. What excited me about the computer itself is the fact that computers were kind of attributed to being the smartest things that they could do jobs that no humans could do. They were Superman stuff. It was the people that were in the Homebrew Computer Club that attracted me. Here were a lot of people that were like myself and they wanted a piece of technology to serve as a tool of a revolution where the young person who was shy, who was unknown, who meant nothing, but new electronics and new computers was now gonna be valuable to the future of society and the world. So what I did was I had this idea to build the Apple One computer very affordably. I gave away my computer design for free to everyone. I gave them my code listings. I helped other people build their own. And that was when Steve Jobs came to a club meeting. Whenever he saw interest, he knew that was money. Steve was the total businessman. He wanted the company. I just wanted to build cool products. The only obstacle I had was I didn't want to start a company on the side of the company that I worked for and loved and was loyal to and would never leave, Hewlett Packard. Because we built products for engineers and I was an engineer at heart, so I proposed it to HP first. And I pleaded, I wanted them to make this personal computer and they were so intrigued by the idea and they turned it down. And it's very, very lucky because they probably would have built a very boring product for engineers to use rather than an exciting, interesting, colorful, animated game product for normal human beings.